Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get better at Fortnite, how to be a Fortnite god by doing one simple thing. Well, it's not really that simple, but it's a major key to basically be good at anything in life. You have to analyze your mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Making mistakes is totally okay, but if you can learn from those mistakes and not repeat them, that's how you get good at stuff and it's the exact same for Fortnite. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple gameplays where I was on fire and then I make some mistakes and making a mistake isn't just you know when you die you can make mistakes in situations uh, that you don't die maybe you just get hit for damage and recognizing those mistakes and trying to correct them which I'll give you guys some examples of in this video can make you a lot better at this game so I hope you guys will enjoy this I think you guys will if you guys could smack a like on this thing let's go for 905 likes that'd be absolutely amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're almost at 200,000 subscribers we're over 190,000 which has been absolutely amazing so subscribe if you guys are new you know make a YouTube account if you don't already have one click that subscribe subscribe button drop a like I really do appreciate it and let's get right into it so first game here I'm going off right now and I'm basically just gonna be watching the gameplays analyzing and talking about where I think I make mistakes now in this game right now, you can see right off the start, I have probably one of the best inventories you're going to get. I mean, look what I got. I got a gold scar, a blue tack, and a blue pump. So of course, this is perfect for, uh, you know, range combat. Got the scar up close. I got the tack and you know mid sort of I've got the uh, pump right so right there hit that guy in the head made no mistake right there um, Very simple gunfight, you know, I, I walked in there I took it at my own pace and I was able to win that fight with a headshot now over here I come over to uh, this area take this guy out as well always using the tack when you're up close the tack I'm telling you guys man the pump up close like it's just too risky look at this the tack I'm missing shots I'm hitting shots but eventually you know by the time he even locates me I've hit enough shots to take him out I'm telling you guys that the tack up close was probably like one of the biggest corrections I've made lately I was trying to get into the pump because I see you know a lot of PC players and everyone they've been rocking with the pump you know so I was like, oh, maybe the pump is better, which it is better statistically for damage. But just, you know, when you're going to miss some shots, which you are going to, to, to do when enemies are moving, I, I've been using the tack more and more. And I've been trusting my tack shot. And it's just been amazing. I mean, look at this right there. 185 to the head. Sure, if I had a pump, that would do 237, but it really doesn't matter. Either of those shots is going to destroy you. Most of the time, they're going to have below 185 HP anyway. Of course, I'm sort of talking that I have the blue tack, which is, you know, the best one you're going to get. So that's an exception sort of there. Um, but that's what I'm saying as far as those go. So. So far in this gameplay from analyzing, I'm making a lot of the right plays. I'm stacked up seven kills with around 40 left. I have good materials. I have a crazy, your inventory doesn't get much better than this at this point in the game. I'm playing very well. And so far, I just don't want to make any mistakes and don't want to mess up this gameplay. So you see what I'm doing here. I'm still until the towers. I'm trying to check all of the chest locations, which I always recommend you do. Check chest locations before you leave tilt the towers. I see this guy pull up on him with the tack. Another easy kill right there. Um, and it's just that simple. You know, tack up close is what you want to do. Um, basically, to check for chest locations, I don't have to go into every building. I simply run by them and I have my headset cranked up. You'll be able to hear chest, which I think is an awesome thing. And one of the things that make this, makes this game so cool is you don't have to check everywhere to loot. If I know a chest is in a building in a corner, I run by the outside of that building. If I hear nothing, it's self-explanatory. There is not a chest there. If I hear something, there is going to be one there. This guy, once again... No clue what he was doing to stand in the middle of nowhere. So this game, you can see it's going fairly well. So far, I would say that I haven't really made any crucial mistakes. Now, what a crucial mistake would be is it's either if you're getting cracked, so you're getting hit for a lot of damage, or that you die, obviously, which would be the biggest mistake. In here, uh, this is where I make my first mistake. I hear a guy, I hear a guy in here, but then I hear him stop moving, and I foolishly just push the corner. I luckily do have good accuracy, so I'm able to win that fight. However, he does cr uh, you know, crack me pretty good for HP. What I should have done there is when I heard him stop moving, it should have been obvious to me that he was looking for me or, you know, heard me coming. So I should have jumped around that corner, hopefully, so that he would miss the shot. wouldn't expect that. That was one mistake I made right there. Of course, I'm able to heal back up to 175. So it doesn't cost me the game, but I recognize that was a mistake. And now in the future, you know, when you hear someone stop moving, I'm going to try to jump around. Now, here's where I make a big mistake. This is what cost me the game. I, I see a, 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 a care package coming in or supply drop, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, okay, I want to get this. I think I've cleared the area. I've looked around. So I build a sort of one by one around this and just wait for it to fall in. Or I don't wait for it. I start to shoot it down. And uh, hopefully, you know, like when you shoot it down, it'll come down faster. And what happens here is as I'm shooting, I'm not able to hear. 
and I get rushed. Because I'm not able to hear stuff when I'm shoot pulling the trigger, I wasn't able, and this guy, I was 11 kills deep, he pulls up on me, gets his first kill of the game. So, my mistake that I made right there is, number one, I should have built up higher, and number two, I should have shot a couple shots, then looked around, cleared the area, shot a couple shots, I was too tunnel visioned on that supply drop. Luckily, I've learned my lesson from that, and you won't see me doing that again. So, it is okay to make mistakes once you correct them. Now, let's get to the second gameplay here. This second game is another one I get off to a good start. A gold scar, I mean, when you went, there's some luck that comes into this game as well. A lot of people think, oh, this game's so lucky. This was actually, a, I think it's the solo squad I was playing. Yeah, it was a solo squad. I was trying to do the trap challenge. You know, I get off to a really good start. I get a I knock a guy with a trap there. And I'm just I'm just basically running around with the scar. The scar is actually fairly good up close because of the high damage. I mean, 36 shots, that means three to kill. Um, so I'm running around, I'm taking people out, and I am having a good game so far. Um, at this point, I am a little bit weak because of those gunfights in there, which I guess I could have taken those a bit uh, safer. Um, but since then, I have the RPG, and which is a very good weapon to have. Um, basically, I'm able to use this. This guy starts to shoot at me, I RPG, knock him out. RPG for the kill as well. Just the reason I did that is because if they had a, a, a teammate up there, um, I would be able to, you know, hit him with that. And that's basically what, what my thinking was. Instead of chasing him there, I had the RPG to knock him down. So, so far I'm playing pretty good. I don't really have many heals. Um, I'm able to take this guy out, get myself some shields, and I'm able to uh, shield up here. Once again, I'm off to another good start in this game and it will all be you know come crashing down with a mistake and that's what you got to learn from it's fine to you know mess up and when you are playing high action you are going to mess up and make mistakes right here i knocked this guy he has a teammate so i fire the rpg uh, kill them both over there that end up pushing this way and here's where i make the mistake i see an enemy right here and this enemy you know exchanges some shots with me um and he eventually builds a wall here now me being dumb i blindly push this wall he makes a really smart play that you don't see too often on console edits it and shoots me through there my mistake there is i should have shot the wall at a distance and then i should have rpg'd in that corner i um, looking at it back now for you guys to analyze your mistakes you don't have to you know record your gameplay like i do of course i'm a youtuber there's replay mode available or even when it just happens live in the game you should know what's happening right so so far i've made two fairly big mistakes or three mistakes you know, crucial mistakes one i should have jumped around that corner number two looking up at the supply drop i got tunnel vision and then my mistake right there was pushing that guy thinking that he wouldn't edit i should have used what i had in my inventory to my advantage with the rpg and with the scar here's the last gameplay here which i'll talk about i spawn in here and i get a shotgun right off the start which is awesome you know i love getting a shotgun right off the start and look at this are these guys feeding me big pots i don't know but i just get two big pots right there see a third this is going off to a really really good start i'm feeling pretty confident right now so i'm going to be at 100 100 i'm going to be with one pump shotgun which is good but probably i should try to find another sort of secondary weapon because this weapon actually hits for 90 so if i hit them for 90 i don't want to you know have to um finish them off and not have a secondary weapon i hit them for 45 there because you know i missed some of my pellets and eventually i'm able to find the secondary weapon that i need which is the smg the reason for this is because now, if I hit marker them with the shotgun, it's a simple switch over to the SMG, spray them down, and I get the kill. Right here, I hear a guy in here doing some something. Uh, I rush him, and I get that kill, and then I'm able to, you know, rock with the double pump as well as the SMG combo. So this game is going off to a great start. Basically, what I'm doing in this game is it's just I'm having good accuracy, and that's why I'm winning these fights is because I'm listening for people on my headset as well as having good accuracy. But of course, you guys know the theme of this video: analyzing your mistakes. So far, I'd say I played a pretty perfect game i mean it's, it's a minute in so i'm not saying i'm not trying to brag or anything like that playing a perfect game a minute in isn't too hard right there i pull up on another guy hit him with the headshot he didn't seem too um you know i put the ramp there for thinking that he uh he would think i'm going to go up the ramp then i went to the side of it sort of outsmarted him there and we're already at six kills a very good start to this game 100 100 so obviously i haven't made any mistakes big enough to get me shot at now i see this guy over here here's where i start to get, get shot i turn around i put the wall take this guy out with a headshot take this guy out with a headshot and so far i am on fire everything is going good i take a little bit of damage there but i wouldn't necessarily say that was a mistake because i sort of you know got trapped in between three people and i made my way out of it and so far i've been winning these fights just simply off my 
headset as well as my accuracy with these shotguns and that's where it comes back to bite me never get lazy build before you fight if you are out in the open that's something that i stress and sometimes you'll you know think you you're running against a bad player or have an idea of you know getting cocky or something like that and that's what i do here i push this guy i build up one but right here when i realize i'm in trouble i should have built a wall or went up higher right there i didn't i tried to take him in a straight one-on-one -on -one shotgun fight he ends up taking me out for that because just because i beat eight people previously before him doesn't mean that i was going to win that gunfight i got lazy there and it ended up costing me and that's why i died analyzing your mistakes is a major key you can see three gameplays here where i was going off making a bunch of big uh, you know good plays but eventually came crashing down because of dumb dumb simple mistakes but hopefully i'm going to learn from those and that's what i recommend you guys do as well to get better at this game thanks for watching guys hope you guys did enjoy smack a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and have a great night i'm out peace